happenings, global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Many thanks for keeping fit with us. At the former president of Nigeria, Chief Felicia Wu Ambassador, gave a charge to youth that was um, really shocking for most Nigerians. Of course, some few months ago, it was um, Dati about Baba Ahmed, uh, the vice presidential candidate of the Liberal Party, who also gave a very strong charge to Nigerians that they should take back their country. But while that is going on, it looks like Peter Obi is coming out of his shell as well. And he has also given charge. Everybody's giving charge. It looks like apparently having done all using the instrumentation of the judiciary and the executive the legislature is not really working they have decided to do this you're going to find out really uh, what these leaders are saying the one that is shocking really is peter we have always been very um very quiet in his ways permit to use the word very quiet in his ways is beginning to open up on the fact that nigerians really must do this now or else mm. but before we go to the newspaper to find out the full details kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button beside it you see the bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to go to get notified as soon as you get uh, update our channel on youtube let's start with what obi peter obi said then what um Chief Olusegun Obasanjo Basun just said, and we'll conclude very quickly. Now, the former Anambra State Governor and Labour Party presidential candidate in the 2023 general elections, that is Mr. Peter Obi, has given Nigerian youth a new charge. Now, Obi, man, Obi alongside Mr. Frank Nweke Jr., the former minister, uh, former information minister, have called on Nigerian youth to embrace the constructive measures in pursuance of sustainable development goals as SDGs. And they do emphasize that the actions taken by the youth today would play a cr crucial role in the, achieving the United Nations SDGs by the year 2030. Now, this advice was shared during the Shaping the Future conference organized by the Boys Champion BC Foundation in Enugu. The event focused on the theme Accelerating Actions to Achievable Sustainable Development Goals in Nigeria through Entrepreneur entrepreneurship and civic engagement. During the conference, Mr. Obi stressed the importance of the government supporting and empowering the youth for development. He, he remarked, the government must take pride in its youth by giving them the essential opportunity to develop. In addressing the issue of student opportunities, Obi called on the youth to take a stand and question those responsible for jeopardizing their future. He pointed out that some individuals had held the youth hostage, succeeding because the youth ignored the unfolding event. Obi urge the youth to hold their leaders accountable as setting that leaders continue to engage in corrupt practices because the youth permit it. He emphasized that they continue to steal because youth permit it. Of course, in another news, this time around is coming from a chief Felicia Gwon Basanjo, the former president of Nigeria. Uh, these are his words. He said, and I quote, he said, um, uh, Obasanjo advised you to take over the leadership roles in the country now. Obasanjo said this during the Bridge Foundation Emerging Political Leaders Fellowship Program in Abuja. Mm. Now, according to him, he said, uh, you are leaders of today. If you don't take it now, you will, you will never get it. You have to positively disruptive. Don't accept things the way they are. You need to make those who need to be uncomfortable, uncomfortable, he said. And now, uh, Basenjo added by saying, knowledge is very important, accurate knowledge. You also need the fear of God and proximity to God. When you are a leader and you do not fear God, then you are a dangerous leader. Wherever you may choose or wherever you may choose, leadership is very important and the principles are basically the same. A good leader must have certain characteristics. Knowledge is good, but not enough. How diligent are you? What is your level of integrity? What are the values that you cherish? And this is coming from uh, Chief Felicia Gwobasanjo. Of course, Nigerians are reacting to this. Uh, I'm going to take one or two reactions. My colleague is in the house. Uh, but uh, this one here says, um, One Nadon Dabaru, the country from a youthful age, youthhood into old age to a point of no return again, Abi. 
Me could not just carry on with the funeral rites. The youths will keep watching the invitees to the funeral ceremony. And that's just the problem what uh, Peter Obi and the chief of the Basanje is saying. That keep folding your hands and watching corruption to go haywire. Uh, your, your, your future begins today and you're not taking charge of it. It clearly means that you are not ready. You probably may go into your old age into the grave without achieving nothing and these guys will keep infiltrating and they will keep um you know stealing to their generations unborn and you feel that uh, you're helpless it's saying they're literally telling you the country belongs to you forget what we have said in the time past forget what how we have said it but literally this country belongs to the youth if you don't take it now you will never get it again and they're saying, be positive in the destructiveness. I wonder what that means. For some of us who understand what Chifoli Chogoba is saying in that contest, please let's discuss it in our comment section. This one here is saying, which Nigerian youth are you referring to? Nigerian youth are simply not ready or serious for anything. All they do is insulting each other every day, defend the bad behavior of our corrupt leaders, and make excuses for them because of tribal affiliations. I've seen this from Jonathan to Buhari, and now to Tinubu. The so-called educated ones are the worst. They are good in gaslighting. The good thing is that we are all affected by the current economic hardship. Without unity and love, we are doomed. And that person here says, so impossible. Majority of Southwestern youth are clowns. Let me not even talk of the Northern youth. Those ones live and act under the dictates of uh, their imam. The only youth we have in this country are the Southeast and South South youth. Never forgetting my ever rugged and ruthless Hedu youth. I love those guys. Others claiming to be youth are all studies, programmed to defend undefendable actions, justify unjustifiable deeds, rationalize irrational policies of this old non old leaders nigeria is really not going forward and we need to do the needful okay but these are just personal opinions of persons who believe that um that generally tired and some believe that uh, the, the issue of um ethnicity is coming to play strongly when it is the yoruba time it becomes a local all the yorubas go to sleep i don't think so if you ask me let me tell you the truth because i've seen several a whole lot of several uh southwesterners who have shown that they are not bigots they are in fact they don't belong in fact they have been called omali several because of it, the likes of macaroni uh, the likes of uh, Farron Timmy, Farron Timmy, Daily Farron Timmy is one lawyer who is dogged. In fact, that guy, if, if not for the fact that his name is Daily Farron Timmy, you probably think he's an evil man. He defends anything good. Okay. You just be good. He will defend you. Okay. The affiliation of, uh, of tribe notwithstanding. And I give, I respect that young man a lot. And some of them also, the last of um, Oseni Rufai, uh, the journalist in uh, TV, uh, sorry, journalist in uh, RIs, has also shown, sometimes they even call him Omali because he, he shows, he behaves as if he's not even from that side, not because of anything. He has shown also, he calls his people out, especially the corrupt leaders. If they, they in fact, some of them don't get comfortable whenever he interviews them. I can't forget the interview he had with uh, Ayo, Fire share. They literally threw words at each other uh, uh, on the live TV show simply because um, Oseni Rufai had put it to him there and there. So there have been several of them from the Southwest who have re have never shown tribalism whatsoever. And I, I, I refuse one or two comments on that stand where uh, some of Nigerians are saying tribalism. Yes, some have shown, but a whole lot have stand true. I wish we all could all stand true and tell our leaders, especially those who are corrupt to, have, to their faces, that they need to stop the corruption now. That's what going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation.